and welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Gotta be an 11. Wow, I've never seen one that big. <laughs> Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Look at that. Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go, it's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking, LT Outdoors, might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting, might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking, LT Outdoors, I hope you enjoy the show. Hello to that. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Today, it's actually opening goose day here in Michigan. Early goose season, teal, snipe. Um, yeah, but today I actually am out here goose hunting in the field. And uh, it's been pretty good, not too bad. I gotta get used to my gun again. Um, it's only the second season that I've had a semi-automatic. Last year was the first time I've ever even shot one, and I only got to shoot it a couple times. Um, I already got a blood blister from it, but made a couple mistakes, but I'm getting used to it. Got a couple birds on the ground right now. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to be back out in the morning, and I'm probably going to connect that to this video. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think. See, those were sandhill cranes. And to me, that's a good sign. I always use that as my kind of warning signal because usually before the sand hills or before the geese start flying back, the sand hills are always just before them. So we should start seeing some geese anytime now. <sighs> nice goose. Should have had more than that, folks, but the dang gun jammed on me. <laughs> I didn't even have time to hit the hit the button. It was a good shot. But I couldn't even hit the button on the camera. They came dumping in in the decoys, which is good, but Oh, huge flock. Coming right over the tree. again I'm gonna take them yeah I got that one I gotta get used to this gun again, guys. This is the first one I've ever had. <sighs> yep, that's a bigger one there. I got my first pigeon. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have shot such expensive shells at it, but I got it. I'll be dang. My first pigeon. I just mentioned last night, guys, that I wanted to I wanted to try pigeon. That's too funny. 
I got them. <laughs> Those are sandhill cranes. I think they landed by me. Let's see. All right, guys. Well, I have never cleaned a pigeon before. Never shot a pigeon before. Always wanted to, though, because I heard they're good eating. And I'll tell you what, I always like to try something once. Plus, you know, up here in Michigan, for those of you that don't know, we cannot shoot dove, okay? Which I'm sure a lot of you that are against it are like, yay. But, you know, I've heard doves really good eating. We got a ton of doves. But we are allowed to shoot pigeons. Pigeons are actually considered a nuisance bird. They are open year-round. I've just never really done it. So today, as you've seen, <laughs> sitting in the goose blind, they kept making passes. I decided to take a pop shot and got a good one. So I am going to try and breast this thing out. Um, I, I decided I wanted to try. I was going to de-feather the whole thing and do it that way. But I kind of want to try the whole uh, bacon-wrapped breast thing like they do with morning doves down south. And we're going to see how that turns out. So, yeah, I'm going to try and breast this thing out. We'll see how it goes. I'll record it, and uh, I'll be cooking it tonight. But I'm also going to be leaving here in a few minutes, see if we can find some teal, maybe some snipe. Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys. Like I said, I'm going to breast this thing out. So I'm just going to tear the skin. See, it should... I don't know how these tear. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I was going to say a grouse. For any of you that's ever tore a grouse, it tears right off. Super easy. It's a little tougher than a grouse. Not by much, though. Most birds aren't too hard. Um, ducks and geese, they're thick-skinned. It's really hard to rip them. But, see, I want to get these breasts out. I watched a video my buddy Rich sent me where the guy just peels it off like this and then he cuts the, cuts the uh, wing bones on both sides and rips the breast plate. And it looked like a... Oh, I just had a kestrel here in the yard. It looked like a really good way to do it, so let's try this out. Yep, he breasted it first. Took some nippers. Clipped the wings on both sides. And then he just peeled the rest of it off here. My roosters, my birds don't like it when I do stuff like this. I think they think they're next. Okay. There's the breastplate. Now on the video, he just peeled it all off. And it looked like it came off really nice. Let's see how this comes out. And the guy also said... You know, which I kind of figured there's a big difference, folks, between, you know, a city dove or a city pigeon than a, you know, I, I live in the country. The, these pigeons out here where I live, these are, these are corn and bean fed pigeons. These are going to taste a lot different, you know, than the ones you guys might have down in the city. These are not nasty birds. These are feeding on... The same stuff that your chickens would feed on, that you're buying from the store. What are you doing, rooster? You next? <laughs> yep, got nice little pigeon breast here. It does look good. I ain't gonna lie, that's some good looking meat. Hopefully I can get something to go with it. If not, I'll cook up some beans or something, fresh garden beans, but... Um, yeah, let's head out though, see if we can get into some teal. Or some snipe. Yes, it is a real bird. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some. Alright, trying something a little crazy. I don't know how good it's going to work shooting a gun out of a kayak. But there's only one way to find out. There's a couple of geese hanging out over here.
go. That's a good sized goose. Now this is just awesome. I thought I hit that second goose, but I didn't watch it go down. I was too busy and worried about this one. Look at here, guys. I did get it. <laughs> I got both geese. I thought I did. That is great. Man, that's some good shooting. I love this gun. Darn right, buddy. Got both of them. Oh, and it's got a band. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. You guys. Oh. This is, this is what you go for right here. This right here. Oh my God. You guys, this is what you call jewelry. Um, I think this is number nine for me in my life. What I do is I'm gonna report that number and it's gonna come back and tell me all the information about this goose. It'll tell me the age, where it was banded, um, all that good stuff. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Now I'm glad I came out in the kayak to jump those. Holy cow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, you guys have no idea how excited I am. That right there is what I go for. That is amazing. Not only did I get some great jerky treats out of this, but another freaking band. <clears throat> That's great. See right there. That's actually something you don't want to shoot. <laughs> no, it's not a rail. No, it's not a not a snipe. That's a stilt sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, they're a cool looking bird. I hope you guys enjoyed this short hunting clip. Uh, like I said, this was opening day. Pretty much opening evening and then the following. It's only noon, so following morning basically a whole day's hunt but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this there's going to be a lot more waterfowl hunts to come this year and i am still going to get you the elusive snipe you just wait and see <laughs> all right guys here you have it there ain't much to it it was just one single pigeon but what i'm going to do is bear with me it's my first time hopefully it turns out good i'm just going to sprinkle some of this mccormick garlic and herb on it it's changed color a little bit i've had it in the fridge throughout the day while i was out hunting and then i'm just gonna wrap bacon around it i got two pieces here there we go i got two pieces wrapped up on there i am just gonna slap this baby on just like that i'm gonna shut it i'm gonna let it go i don't know a few minutes per side the trick is when you're doing any kind of wild game, and this is where a lot of people end up getting it wrong, and this is why a lot of uh, stuff ends up tasting bad, is they overcook it. If you overcook any kind of wild game, it's gonna taste like crap, I guarantee you. So you really wanna do it the right way. Um, you don't have to worry about it being underdone like you do stuff at the store. Uh, so I try to do my stuff medium rare, or more on the rare side at least, when I'm doing my wild game. So. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do this pigeon so it's got a bunch of pink in the middle. We'll see what happens. All right, it's been four minutes. I've got it on kind of low. Usually I have this grill just blaring, but I wanted to do this slow. I do not want to mess it up. Bacon's starting to crisp up nice. All right, that's after three minutes on one side. I could have I could have put uh, toothpicks in it like I usually do, but yeah, I'm just going to use it night. But yep, let her go for another three, four minutes. See what the other side will look like. All right, this will be after eight minutes. Yep, I should have toothpicked it. <laughs> there you go. Let it go for like another four or five minutes, and I'm gonna call it good. Ooh, yeah, baby. Now that bacon looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that meat looks perfect. 
smells good. It's a nice looking piece of meat right there. Don't want to waste any bacon now. Yeah, let's take this inside. Look at that meat. Take it inside and see what it tastes like. Hey everybody, I hope you're ready. I know I am. Uh, I've been waiting all day to try that uh, pigeon and as you probably watched, I grilled it up with some bacon. I didn't cook it very long, probably about 10 minutes all together. Because um, I know, just like, like I said earlier in the video, basically any wild game, that is how it gets ruined, is if you cook it too long, you don't want to cook things too long. That's how they get, get really gamey. See, there's a lot of red in there, but it's not not nearly like it was. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually a little shocked, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it looked good. Normal dark meat, which I'm not a real fan of the super dark meat guys, but oh my lord. I don't know if it was the bacon or the maybe just the way I cooked it. Like I said, you don't overdo it. You overdo stuff, that's usually when you get that liver taste. Like on venison. If you overdo them, you get a livery taste, but this is really good. <laughs> really good. Yep. I'll tell you what. Them pigeons are in trouble now because honestly that's better than duck or goose. I am definitely now a pigeon hunter. So get ready for some more pigeon videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think and hit that subscribe button. LT Outdoors has been brought to you by Widowmaker Lures, Quality Tungsten Jigs, Northland Fishing Tackle. Check them out online for a huge selection of lures. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. Heavy Metal Custom Lures, a great line of plastics and more. Liquid Willow Cat, great artificial baits with natural ingredients. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. Crooked Bend, the ultimate food plot mix. LS Custom Calls, custom acrylic waterfowl calls and more. The Better Boat, thebetterboat.com, premium boat cleaning products you can count on. Drake Clothing Company, quality outdoor clothing. And Shelly Shirt Shack, where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made. Look at me, I'm flying! I'm out, oh, no wait, maybe not.